welcome back if you've been away. I hope you haven't been too far uh, and you're tuned into your logged on to destinationyuri.com, web streaming live across the planet and bringing news across the planet uh, of Tanglewood Festival that's due to occur in Narrowwater Castle. I'm joined by Shin I'm joined by Nicola McAvoy, Kira Tumulty in the middle, and Sinead Keeley at the end. Uh, they're all Nuri girls, but Sinead tells me she's Fork Hill, but she will accept <laughs> you. And there's two there's two from our ladies and one from the Sacred Heart. But you share the commonality of one day putting your heads together and saying, Wow, we're gonna have Tanglewood Festival. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, well, m- myself and Sinead were living together and um, th- we sort of said we'd like to put on something a bit bigger than just a normal gig and um, then Kira was around in the house all the time as well so we all just sort of said we'll give it a go together, you know? Yeah. So. It's but you're a it. lovely group of people because you you've, you plan things, you enjoy life together, you socialise together, you've brought this into Narrow Waters grounds and you're now in your, what, third or fourth year? Third year, yeah. Third year of it. And how how will it actually work? What will people see when they go to Tanglewood Festival? Well, um, this year we've cleared out sort of two acres of forest um, and we've sort of landscaped it really nice. So uh, they'll be going in there and we'll have a, a boat that we've turned into a stage and the main stage and then we'll have a riffraff tent, that's for DJs and that, and then we'll have a, the gramophone tent. Did I hear that? <laughs> <laughs> that we'll have a riffraff tent, that's for DJs <laughs> no, and yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Uh, riffraff are a local sort of promotions company in Uri. Oh, I see, so I didn't realise that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying that these DJ fellows were riffraff. Oh, no. Well, no. some of them are, yeah. <laughs> Girls, how did you get, talk to me about your enthusiasm for the project? What sort of music do you love and what sort of music will you take to the people? <coughs> Everything, I suppose. I think all three of us sort of enjoy all types of music. Mm. So I, I had organised a couple of smaller scale things over the years, so it, you know, just with Why friends Why do you turn that. your nose up at what you did during the years? You're saying, I just organised a couple of small... You didn't well, organise... not just me, no, no, no. But I'm saying, what, the point <laughs> I'm making to you is what you did over the years was magnificent, I'm sure. And you're saying, Thank well, you. I just did a couple of smaller things. <laughs> always be proud of what you've done, I think. You know, if you don't mind me saying so. I always say this to people because, especially young people, and you're so challenged in many ways because you have to fight to make your mark in the world. And you very often you will be self-effacing like that. And it's good to say, I did this and it was great, rather than <laughs> I just did a couple of wee small things. But over the years you've been involved, yeah. Yeah, we bits and pieces, and then when Nicola decided that she wanted to run a bigger scale festival than we were drafted in. <laughs> yeah. What's involved in running a festival like this, uh, Kira? Um, probably a lot more than what most people would think. There's <laughs> a lot of organising in it. Like we start from sort of Christmas time, we start working on getting things organised and we still manage to have loads to do coming closer to the time. There's always we bits and pieces to be organising and finalising. And, and, and is that... You know, you have to find the bands for a start. Yeah. Where do you go to, where do you, st- if you were to say to me, I will let you win next week's lottery if you can organise me six bands, I wouldn't get the money. I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't have a clue. Well, we'd get the money if you were giving us <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, how do you do it? How do you get them? In, how do you get I the bands? I suppose the scene in Belfast and Dublin and that, and even in Europe, is, is very strong with really? original bands. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, there's talent coming to the fore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like our headliners this year, and so I watch you from afar. They're called. They're um, and so piece. I watch you from afar. Yeah. Sounds like a love story. <laughs> so, my darling, <laughs> I watch you from afar. <laughs> now I can resist no longer. I come to you. Look, I have no bicycle, but a most wonderful car. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that that's I'd never heard of it. What sort of music do they play? They're they're hardcore rock, basically. <laughs> no, you like them. You like them. <laughs> but um, I mean, they're big players in the band. <laughs> 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 No, it'll be a bit better than that. Like. It sounds like the Tom Newman <coughs> picnic. Yeah, no, no, it's not Tom's sort of style. He's more psychedelic. He is, of course. You know. Tom's a lovely man. We know him well in the studio. Is he back from England yet? Yep, he is. Good. Indeed. I'm hoping he'll be with us in here this coming week. So, it's a it's a hard rock band. And then where else do we go? Um, well, we've got Duke Special. And we've got Eric Japanese Bell pop from stars. Wow. Japanese pop stars. Um, Monday. Monday, yep. yeah. We've got Gone Duffy. Granny Duffy, she's she's blue. She's there, wow, but they're all sort nice. of local. That's nice. Like a yeah. and dog, she's brilliant. Yeah, and r- what do your parents and your your families think about you? Most parents and families, when the youngsters grow up, they want them to be 
civil servants or doctors, but you run you run a festival of, of music. Are they all happy with well it? Well, these two are sort of the teacher, uh, the teacher and classroom. Oh, so you're that, still so working in, yeah, in, oh your yeah, yeah. in your real yeah. jobs. Yeah, mm. you have to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So where is music going these days, Kira? What way is it changing? And, you know, will the music that you're bringing to Tanglewood, how different will it be to the music that you're... Are you the teacher? Yeah? No. No? no how I'm different will it be from the, d the music that your children Depends will experience? Depends on how good a taste of music they have. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, there's a couple of them that would have the same sort of interest in music, but the rest of them, I suppose, are all One Direction. And yeah. the, the bands we have are very local based you know a lot of people are looking sort of closer to home these days when they're spending their money you yes, know they give to give to bands like so yeah. um that sort of keep it local and try mm. to give them the business that as keep well it local themselves. seems to stream through everywhere these yeah. days yeah. Yeah. we're hearing it more and more and more uh but the thing is you know you pay a lot the, you're right they pay a lot of money just to tap into a back row view of fame and that's what they're mm -hmm. paying the money for and it can be a crock of awfulness going off to one of these gigs because you don't see an awful lot, you pay a lot of money but if you come to you, you're getting the music, you're getting the companionship, you're getting the fun mm -hmm. so maybe it's a better deal at the end of the day totally, mm -hmm. totally 100% yeah. everybody should just come to Tanglewood <laughs> <laughs> everyone for Tanglewood and uh, it's, uh, Narrowater has become its home really, it's, you're not going anywhere else no, not yeah. no. It's uniquely suited to it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Especially from the forest this year. Like, well, first of all, you can see the castle, but you can also see the lock. You know, it's, oh, uh, it's yeah. a really just good yeah. setup down yeah, there. Of course. In the decadence. And will will people be able to camp there when they come? Yeah, it's actually up in the walled garden. The campsite will be so. And there's a campsite, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's so th they're going to be able to camp. They're going to be able to enjoy the music. They're going to be able to uh, have good food, have a drink or two. Uh, is that a problem, sort of controlling the drinking, or is it okay? Uh, no, usually we can't hand it out fast enough because there's always a massive queue yeah. at the bar. Queue at the bar, yeah. <laughs> Do you know but it's really there's very little trouble. Yeah. You know, for for the. Well, I have no the over the four years, over the three years, I've seen no, no trouble. No, we really you know. haven't, and that's something no. that we we weren't maybe expecting, but it's worked yeah. out really well. You know, and yeah. I suppose that you're hoping for the best and planning for the worst. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't get <laughs> pretty the worst. much. Yeah. You yeah. didn't get the worst. I think it's the variety in so age groups. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that there's such a widespread sort of. Yeah, age there, you know, so it doesn't. It nothing mm. ever gets too much to handle. Fantastic. You know? It it. Uh, so our dates are again the third to the fourth of August. When you have a band or a couple of, is there maybe you afterwards give me details of some of the bands? Mm -hmm. And between now and then, we'll bring in a band a week to oh come in and play in yeah. studio. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Great, a way yeah. of banging the drum for the festival. Oh, yeah. So will you stay in touch with me and we'll do that? Yeah. Give yeah, me. A, a, a Chelsea will get your d your 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 details of good contact, best contact numbers, and we'll bring the bands in. Brilliant. And we will roar <laughs> Tanglewood from the rooftops all across the planet. Great. Thank you for joining me. Thank, Thank you very much for having us. So, Sean, um, we're about to wrap up now, if you're stood by with some music, sir. And uh, we've been with you since half past seven this morning. It's been a lovely experience. I hope you've enjoyed being with us for a eclectic mix of new music and musings, yes indeed, uh, ending off with Tanglewood. It's not the last you're going to hear about Tanglewood on this programme, and I hope you'll go along there on the 3rd and 4th of August and really enjoy it. So wherever you are in the world, and this applies to Tanglewood, to teaching, to being a doctor, to being anything else in your life where you're under pressure, my old African friends will tell you out in the bush of northwest Nigeria with the Camberry people, when you have done your best and can do no more, when you have done everything you can do, given it your best shot, don't worry about it. Park it. Rest your head in your hands and leave the rest to whatever God you believe in. Go well. Take care. Sean, we'll have some music.